Hello everyone and welcome to another SCPH replay sent in by the community and this one this time it's gonna be a PVT here on Thunderbird LE and introducing our players both of them coming in from the PH clan it's gonna be here on the top left Phoenix playing on with his red Terran of course and in the meantime on the bottom right we got Spoon Spoon, is this a rename or is this a new guy? But anyway, SCPH Spoon. Where is the rest of the utensil family? Where's Mr. Fork? Where's Mr. Knife? And where are the DTs looking for the slice? But anyway, here on Thunderbird LE, pretty even map, having most of the midpoint as well, covered by those minerals. You can always expand to your sides by getting rid of those patches along the way. Many cheeky players deciding to maybe bring a worker or two to actually clear that one out. I don't really see it that much into the game. It'd be interesting to actually see someone decide to play the map in the first place. So what's been going on? What's been happening in the community? We're coming closer and closer to the sea games. The sea ball guys have been practicing in locations unknown. Actually pretty known already. If you guys are aware of the news, they've been playing on in the Bren Esports office, pretty much such a high-tech one. We also practice there with Team PH Overwatch, so they've been very, very supportive for lots of our endeavors. Anyway, though, we are going to get the Cybercore. We are going to get the Gateway as well. Interesting position here from Spoon. It covers up the right-hand side, will not allow any Reaper to actually go from that angle. Instead, it will come from the center of the Nexus or even from the left instead. Anyway, though. Second base being built here by both of our players. It's good to get back into some StarCraft. I know the rates of games have been a little slower as we are in crunch time for the World Cup. But speaking of crunch time, Pylon here from Mr. Spoon gonna be on the north side of the map. Proxy Pylon right now looking to be in a position for a Stargate or... Yeah, it's a Stargate unless he pretty much farms up these minerals. He's gonna be able to send in an early Oracle or even an early Void, void Ray if that's what he wants to do. So though, Stalker is coming on out. Phoenix did scout out the Cybercore. We'll be expecting Warp Gate research, but will he expect this proxy Stargate? That's the real question. On the flip side though, he is starting the 1-1-1 setup. He is gonna go for the racks with the reactor. Float on that factory to get those double pump Hellions and get a good opening against those light probes. So though the Reaper, we're gonna go for the harassment. I believe they didn't really get much out of that one. The Stalker in position there from Spoon. And looking good, looking great here for our blue sauce. In the meantime though, here we go with the Stargate. I wonder what kind of unit will be built. Now wait, I can't wait honestly for a new patch of StarCraft to come on that. Multiplayer patches aren't really the most often, but still it does shake up the meta by just a little bit. So honestly, our meta right now should be defined by what we've been seeing. Those normal timing pushes with those Hellions into maybe BCs, into some mech. In the meantime, for our sauce, Proxy Stargate is going to be leading into potentially some ground tier units if the building is spotted. Anyway though, a lull before the storm. If Phoenix does get a spot of this, he might be like, why is there so little on to this base? Still though, our Protoss player will have to deal with this bunker in front of that secondary so more or less defensive play here from phoenix setting out those mules already but we do get the starport set on us with a tech lab now into tech lab tech real question is will this be some insta bcs as soon as the fusion curve comes on that siege tank though set already by the corner defensive play fear from phoenix because he expects spoon to have more on the ground and more on that harassment anyway speaking of the harassment oracles right now Getting pumped into duos. Gonna be a scary, scary beam later on. The green beam gonna be keeping the environment clean by taking care of those greedy SCVs along the way. Shield battery still set here by Spoon. So both sides playing as defensive as can be. Neither side really scouting it out in the first place. But yeah, Phoenix not, uh, not really knowing that a Stargate is right beside his doorstep. In the meantime here for Spoon, not knowing much about that second base. Anyway though, it is going to be a Raven instead here from Phoenix. Will he go for the Reactor to get some more energy? That's the real question. Engineering Bay is set up as well, so this might be missile turrets in to the near future. Has Phoenix been already able to read his opponent? He is going to go for plus one though, in terms of that infantry. 
On the flip side, we are gonna get our Robo and two more gateways. Three gate, one Robo onto base. Legacy of the Void standards dictate you need more than one to keep the economy going. And this is actually a lot of oracles. We will get spotted out by the Supply Depot immediately, but the SCV is gonna be in for a reckoning. And here we go with the big beam sets again. Terando ready with the Marines. Stutter step action. One oracle, quite low already, but good run on by. Still though, I feel like Spoon is not gonna get as much of the... Minerals back for this investment. He's able to run away. Gonna get a little bit of that vision as well onto these moving units. So he does know if Phoenix is gonna head on out for the time being. And for now, these oracles decide to whip on to the other side. Now, still though, no missile turrets as of yet here for Phoenix. I'd love to see him at least protect his line as much as possible with a few of those minerals since he can't really push on that. And here we go yet again. Oh, a Phoenix this time here for Spoon. Phoenix might have to deal with his own namesake. And the flip side though, Supply Depot is there. And here we go with the Pulsar Beam yet again. The Green Beam looking good, looking great. But here comes the Marines. Takes care of that one Oracle. And by the round, Phoenix says, No sir, you're not getting out of here. We'll prevent the retreat for the one for DT. Anyway though, a transition here from Spoon, going for that third, we'll go for three more gateways on two base, a little dangerous right now, we'll run out of minerals and gas within a cycle, how many gateways is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and, oh, eight gateways, one robo, so honestly, it seems like Spoon, faster on SimCity compared to Phoenix, on the flip side though, here we go again, again, with the invasion, gonna be able to just see what the bulk of the army is up to. Bunker spotted as well, just in case he wants to know if someone's gonna load on in or not. And we are gonna get the salvage instead. Phoenix saying, screw the defense, we'll want to go for the attack. But he is behind all that worker count spoon, using the opportunity with those aerial units to be a bother and to get more production along the way. Now Phoenix should be on the look at, but he is gonna go for the drop instead yet again, seeing what the siege tanks are up to, but oh, Spoon has realized where the hell are all those marines. Now this poor base might be in trouble, but a quick, quick warp cycle here from Spoon. He's already expecting something to come his way. He knows the marines are gone, so he's expecting either a little bit of that drop action or at least a ground push. Damn, those, those revelations. Able to just spot out the bulk of the army. Pulsar beams are almost ready to go. The Phoenix already gonna go for the hits. And here we go with the Marine load on out. Now the thing though is uh, Oracles are strong against these light units, but at the same time Marines are strong against these Oracles. A, a good number of them, very cost effective. And be able to clean that up, especially with step back Oracles. Not really the tankiest unit. Only 60 on the shields and pretty low in terms of that HP and armor. Anyway though, we get some shield batteries yet again. Zealots are in position. The sea stacks are out on siege and this is gonna be a perfect opportunity here from Spoon. He will pop out that guardian shield as well. And the transition will get caught. The convoy is taken away and Phoenix has to retreat. This is so unfortunate here for the Red Terran. Gonna get caught with his pad snapping. Quick warp prism cycle as well. More zealots are coming our way. And the blue Protoss wants to go for the push. The charge lots now pushing on in yet again. Still has that charge impact damage and the second base should go down. Very very quickly so well played there from spoon turning the tides against phoenix forces the orbital command to fly on the way can stars actually get the burn on seems like it's not the case on the flip side though phoenix now dropping out in front shield batteries though are in position zealots instead warped on in spoon has a lot of minerals in the back we'll be able to use them and for the time being, with all those units in the play, this is so scary here for Phoenix right now. His third base will be hampered. The War Prism is in position to go for another cycle yet again. He doesn't have the most minerals and gas in the back. Well, he does have a lot of gas, but the morale is still quite low. Instead, we'll go for the High Templar! And it's time to get some Archons into this one. The big blue balls of fury are sinking on together. Now for now, Phoenix has to play a little bit of the pressure spoon in the meantime. It's not going for the all army command, has some good control groups, and we'll go for the charge lots yet again out in front. Guard shield though will protect the immortals, the stalker, as well as the archons. Unfortunately, the zealots would love that in their place as well. Force fields are there, and it seems like this micro here from Spoon, that one archon doesn't really get the hit, but still, splash damage is key. This archon not at now quite low, 72 HP overall, has to back on out. The other one though, ready to tap, and this might be a cycle here from Phoenix. 
will decide to go around instead gets the pincer at the blue protoss uh, doorstep retreats and for the time being, still though, some more action coming our way. The Zealots up on top of the base. And both sides giving it their all. Spoon though, gonna be keeping the Zealots in position. To try and keep them in funnels to minimize damage. They do take care of some rafts. They take care of a few structures along the way. And both sides hitting each other where it hurts. Still though, the blue toss keeping the pressure on. Wants to go for the third right now. Almost gets the burn. And here we go with the stalkers. This is so close. There you go. The flames are afoot. And Phoenix right now really struggling to keep up with Spoon and his actions, his activities. This guy all hopped up and ready to go. And here we go with the Stimpak though. Speaking of the hop up, the Stalker now immediately focus fired on. will get taken down. The thrust is though here from the medivac. The active burners are there. Looking to give chase. Looking to go for the heals. Unfortunately though, the Marauders don't have Concussive Shot, I realize. It's a small investment to get Concussive. He can get it at any time. It's just 50-50. Such a usual upgrade there for our heavier infantry. Anyway though, this is Poon deciding to play the supply line game. He's just choking out his opponent, forcing him to stay on one base. And yet again, another Zealot cycle. He has so many gateways at home. So he can just keep on going with this. Unfortunately, the Warp Prism loads in four and they go back all the way to Ayer as they get taken down along the way. What do you feel like when you're stuck in the Warp Prism Matrix? That's a real question if you die along the way. It might be, you know, it might be such a scary, scary situation. You're believed to be dead, you're still alive, you're caught in between. That just sounds unfortunate. Anyway though, yet some more gateways. Pressure being applied. Hide Sampler here and now here for Spoon. And the thing to note is, he does have Psy Storm here for the High Temp. He is going for early Archons though, just in case to protect. We'll keep some High Templar though, very strong against the Bioball. The Marine Marauder Medivac Army will have to suffer alongside this. Interesting to note though, Spoon has not decided to transition to a Robo Bay, uh, as well as get those Colossi or maybe some Disruptors. Still keeping on with the Gateway Tech. Now he does get scanned against the High Templar are seen. Still, a lot of energy here for the high temp. Gonna be able to get some good few storms. Simpak though, out in front. Side storm on points! That has to be so painful there for Phoenix. He has to back on out yet again. Spoon on the Eastern Quadrants. Looking to hamper out that ready back. And one Archon does go down. Still though, Side storm gets a chew. Those Marines just falling on over yet again. And now here we go with... This Medivac Transpo deciding to give a first class treatment to those third class marines. Now, interesting to note, Spoon still has the Stargate. Phoenix has not been able to scout this out as of yet. No, not. You would think that those Oracles of Phoenix did come from somewhere very close. And you would think to actually check there, but it seems like with Spoon piling on the pressure, Phoenix has not been able to even check around his neighborhood. Anyway though, Spoon spots out that one Marine, we'll get that takedown. In the meantime, Stalkers are gonna be looking to get in position. Archon gonna be there as well. And High Temp all the way in the back. Now the Warp Prism sending him some more reinforcements and more High Templar. Is this gonna be pure Archon along the way? Seems like it's gonna be the case, maybe. Some of the high temp though are not prepared, doesn't have enough energy for that one. And even wait for the Archons, he's just gonna go for it. Garden Shield yet again, all the way in the back. As Stalker is gonna be trapping that one out. But still, Psy Storms are there. We do have a Liberator trying to go for the shots. Immortals though will be able to tag that one out. The SCV will get taken down. And Spoon yet again knocking on Heaven's doorstep. Phoenix might be getting a Harp, a Halo, and a one-way trip up on top with this Assault. Even more Zealots right here right now. All the minerals going into these warriors and GG is called Spoon. Stepped on the acceleration and never let go of that pedal, never let go of that clutch. And went all the way to take the victory. Well done there to our Protoss player. And that was a fun game. I'll see you guys in the next one.